let's have a look at creating a project that uses model sim for its simulation and debug. So we launch Quartus. We're going to create a new project. Now we could do it from here, but let's do it this way. We've got a new project wizard. Next. Okay, so find somewhere to put it. I'm going to put mine on the desktop. So I'm going to create a folder called demo. Give the project a name and uh, call it anything you like. So uh, test bench. Next, I've got no files to add at the moment. Next, now we select the part. Well, the quickest way, pin count 144, speed grade 7, and take the top. Next, now this is where things change. If you're creating a new project, you can do this at this stage. So simulation, I'm going to choose model sim dash Altera. Don't tick this box at the moment. Next, and we're done. Next, we're going to need a top level entity. Now, you're probably more used to using a schematic. On this occasion, now I'm going to use a VHDL file. Now, I've got some I've already prepared. And the entity is called MyXOR. Two inputs and a single output, all of type standard logic. The architecture, MyXOR version 1, is some simple data flow, VHDL. Now we must save this using the same name as the entity, so save and watch out for the folder. And we must call it my XOR save. So if we have a look, we'll see that my XOR is in the project and we're going to set that as the top level entity. So if I build, successful. Now at the moment, I could synthesize this and map pins, but what I want to actually do is first of all do some functional testing and then I'd like to see the effects of propagation today. 